I went to Montana to visit my best friend with his brother and his mom and my mom. And it was a heck of a trip. So my dear friend goes to Montana State in Bozeman, and it just seemed like the right time to pay him a little visit. We've been friends since kindergarten, and I miss the guy. He's been in Montana for a while, so it felt right. And thus I embarked on an epic journey to Montana, and Montana Parker was born. Yeah, Montana Parker. <laughs> I can't do this. This is bad. This is stereotypical, and not what people are like there. And this hat doesn't fit me. That, I, I don't know. Anyway, we had quite the adventure over there, and luckily I had my camera with me to take some video and snapshots of key moments. My friend made breakfast burritos for us one morning, and really sizzled up some good bacon, I'll tell you that much. Carl, the bacon looks divine. What do you do, like, boom, boom, boom? Yeah, basically. Like, hit it a couple times. There you go. Good form. Okay. Dang it! Well... <laughs> Mmm! Listen to that sizzle. Oh, perfect. Hmm? Tomorrow supposed to be like 75 and no chance of rain. Oh, sweet. clouds, so... Breakfast burritos in the making. Now we're talking. Right, Cameron? Yeah. Talking. In fact, as a result, my friend and his brother and I all smelled like bacon just the entire day, unavoidably. It had seeped into our clothes. I can't describe it, it was otherworldly. But there are worse things to smell like. My friend showed us around the Montana State campus, which was beautiful and awesome. Walking by the old wool lab. Carl says they genetically modify sheep. No, they don't. Okay. The Plant Growth Center. She's a beaut. Holy cannoli, look at this. Ski lifts turned into swings. Let's do it. This is great. <laughs> Mine's not working as well because I don't have a friend here. But it's good. It's okay, I'm alone. <laughs> Woo! How you doing? Montana Hall, look at that. Wow, I feel so scholarly. It's amazing. And everybody's leaving me, so I'm gonna... All right, I should go. This is an elevated track slash viewing balcony above the basketball court. Really awesome. The Chamber of Secrets. This is eerie. Cameron, do you like Montana State? Yeah. Cool. And we got to take a spin through the very unique town of Bozeman, including a particularly interesting antique shop. In downtown Bozeman now. Look at this happy gent. What a guy. Yeah. Look at this place. It's awesome. Being left behind again. Hello, sir. At this shop, my friend also purchased for me a very unique album that we didn't know existed until we saw it. An Evening with Grandpa Jones. I mean, the title says it all. And I don't really know what it says, but that's all. We've listened to half of it so far, it's breathtaking. Beyond words. The first sentence on the back of the album reads, When they made Grandpa Jones, they broke the mold. And I think that pretty much sums him up as an artist. He performs such classic tunes as Don't Bring Your Banjo Home and Daylight Saving Time. Timeless classics. Can't say any more than that, really. We also went to a local farmer's market. That was fantastic. And my friend got a very unique tattoo that we all picked out for him. I think we made a good choice. I ate bison for the first time, and it was quite an experience. And we got some photos. I don't really know what my facial expression conveys here, but it had to be recorded multiple times, in multiple photos, and it was. Basically, the bison was very good. And we went on this hike to this amazing waterfall, where we climbed up all these rocks and got this incredible view, just gorgeous. Then we went on a float trip down a river on inner tubes, and there was a tiny waterfall that my friend had mentioned, 
uh, like two feet, not much to be afraid of. The one thing he said was that there would be a rock in the middle of the waterfall, and you didn't want to hit the rock. You wanted to go to either side of the rock, thus avoiding it and not falling into the water. And so we went down the waterfall, and as soon as I started going down, I saw what looked like a rock, so I moved to the left, and then I saw this kind of wave in the water, sort of a bump in the surface of the water. And just as my inner tube passed over it, I realized, oh, this is the rock I'm supposed to avoid, the one that I'm currently on top of, okay. And then the rock knocked my inner tube out from under me and it was gone, and I literally rolled down a series of rocks through the water, down the rest of the waterfall. And I was landing on my hands and knees and bumping into rocks and trying to stay above the water. And luckily I was okay, I was fine, just a couple bruises here and there. But the image must have been hilarious because as soon as I reached the very edge of the waterfall where it started to go down, the inner tube was gone, and I was just free-forming it. Just my body versus nature, really. And I think nature won. I could not have followed my friend's instructions less than I did. But I tried, you know, and that's what counts, I guess. Unfortunately, I do not have any pictures or video from that float trip because I was too busy clinging to life, so. That's why that happened. All in all, it was a wonderful trip, and it was great to see my friend and his family and his friends, and I had an amazing time. It's a, an incredible state. I definitely want to go back there again and visit. And it couldn't have been more worthwhile. So I guess the lesson here would be, take time to see friends, or just the people in your life that you care about, even if they're far away. It's worth it. And it's always good to try new things, visit new places. So be open to it. Don't just sit there and hope it'll happen. Make it happen. Do it. I don't want to sound like Shia LaBeouf giving a motivational speech, but do it. Yesterday you said tomorrow. Do it. It was a little more calm than him, hopefully. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go plan my trip to Niagara Falls, where I will be descending from the top of the falls to the bottom in a barrel, because I feel like I'm ready for that. I'll catch you later.